Hey Capricorn, what's poppin'? It's your boy Ant from Cancer Moon's Tarot here, coming at you guys with your June 15th through the 30th love Tarot reading, alright? This is gonna be your mid-month, your overall mid-month for the month of June, alright? So let's see what's going on. From the 15th through the 30th, we got 15 days worth of energy for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So here's how it works, okay? If you're new, this is how it works. The first card is a mutual energy between you and another person. Second card is you, Capricorn. Third is who you're dealing with in your love life. And fourth is the outcome, alright? Let's get a pop. Let's see what's going on here for my Cappies. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, June 15th through the 30th, mid-month. June 15th through the 30th, mid-month, Capricorn. All right. You guys are coming through pretty quickly. Let's see what's happening here. Overall theme, oof. Mutual energy between you and another person is three of cups in reverse. So you're not feeling the joy. You're not having a much of a coming together. You know, this is a point where... You know, you're not hanging out with somebody here. You're not hanging out with your person, not spending time with your person. You know, you both aren't feeling a lot of joy and stability. Um, I also feel as if for some, you are ending a third party situation. You both are ending a situation where someone else was involved. Um, for some of you, you were the third party that is being ended and they were the third party because you both do have other people is what I'm seeing here. There's more people involved for most. I feel like there is more people involved. If not, you and your person are just not having a joyous time. There's not a lot of joy between one another is what I'm seeing. Capricorn, you guys are popping up as the five of wands. I feel like, okay, so I feel like whatever's going on here, Capricorn, like you're trying to come out of conflict with this person. I also feel like you're not fighting that much for the connection. You're not fighting that much for the relationship. I feel like you're trying to end the negativity that you've been feeling and all the negative vibes you've been feeling. You know, there's been a lot of conflict. There's been a lot of fights. Um, you know, that's clearly why you and your person aren't having much joy. I feel like you're getting in this, you know, vibration where you're no longer wanting to fight for this. You're no longer wanting to fight over something that's nothing, that's bringing you nothing but negativity is what I'm seeing here. Page of Pentacles in reverse, whoever you're connecting with, they're not offering you anything in this time. They're not even offering you love or relationship or friendship. They're kind of just steering away from you. You know, they're not giving you anything, especially giving you anything that you truly need. Keep in mind, if you can look at the clock right now, it is 555. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says 555. And when you see 555, that's a synchronicity saying that major changes are coming ahead. So listen, Capricorn, you guys have some major changes coming ahead. Be aware of that shit because when you see a 555, that's a drastic change. So with you and your person, it seems like changes are coming. As for the outcome, I see the nine of cups in reverse. I see that somebody here is doing a bit of self-indulging. Um, somebody here can be drinking. There can be a drinker involved here for some of you, whether it's you or your person. Um, if it's not alcohol, I just saying overall, you're not fulfilled with this connection. You both are not fulfilled with this connection. Um, it's getting to a point where is it really worth it to fight for this is kind of what I'm picking up on. Is it really worth the struggle? Is it really worth all the things we're going through to keep this connection alive? Is what I'm seeing here. Yeah, and of Cups in reverse. It's like it's getting to the point where why offer love to this person? You know, why offer love to this person? Some of you are filing a divorce, getting a divorce settlement. Can be connecting with the Libra here. If you're not dealing with a divorce or filing a divorce, I feel as if you are just trying to bring balance into your life, bring balance back into your love life, especially because you don't see the point in offering love because love's not being offered here. So if it's not being offered here, why focus your energy on something that's not serving you? You're going to focus your energy on yourself and have self-healing and, and regain self-balance within your own self is what I'm seeing here. You know, if the love isn't coming through, the offers are, isn't coming through, the proposals of love isn't coming through, what is the point of sticking around is kind of this energy, right? Yeah, Eight of Swords, you know, it's giving you a lot of anxiety, you know, this energy, whatever's, whatever you're going through, it's making you overthink, you feel trapped to something you don't even need to be trapped to, you know, you feel trapped to, and I see uh, there's a lot of Libra energy here, you can be dealing with a Libra, but... You know, you feel stuck in a situation that you can easily walk away from. You don't have to stay in this situation, Capricorn. You don't need to be in this energy. You can easily walk away. You can be the Eight of Cups. I believe I saw another flipper in here as well. Oh, that's why. Because you still love this person, right? Or they still love you. The problem is, is that there's so much things that are happening right now. No one's showing that they care, yet there's still love there in the connection. That's why you feel trapped. That's why you don't want to walk away or someone doesn't want to walk away because they know that they, you know, you truly love this person, but you don't like what's going on right now in the relationship or in the connection. Okay. Also with this Empress energy can be do you know, can have something to do with pregnancy. Somebody here can be pregnant right now and it's causing a lot of, uh, disruption somebody can be pregnant while a divorce was just filed that's for a very few amount okay if it's not pregnancy which for most of you it's not um i feel like 
at one point there was such loving such nurturing and beautiful energy that was going on between you two there was such a great spark but now it's hitting this rock bottom point where you both feel as if you're fighting so much there's so much negativity that's going on between you guys that you can't keep this going even if there's love there this is just not a relationship you can continue to allow to to, to grow because you know it's not growing it's not going anywhere so what's the point in sitting in toxicity right capricorn what's the point of sitting in the devil energy it's just not happening here four of cups yeah you both are going to start ignoring this love i feel you know going by getting later into the month maybe around june 24th feel i feel um june 24th as a date here i feel like this is the point where you both are finally just done you're blocking the love from one another completely it's like you're ignoring this energy you know you both have love to give in this scenario you both have love to offer to one another but you both are ignoring it you know, you both are not allowing it to come through. So you're missing this opportunity in love. You're missing the opportunity for growth. Okay? For growth. And it's causing this... It's causing this drastic change that's coming your way. Six of Pentacles. And, like, okay, so I feel as if... I feel as if not till June 30th. This energy here is going to be present until June 30th. I feel as if this is coming later. I feel like later on, you are going to have this talk. There is going to be this talk, Capricorn, with you and your person about having communication on how to balance out the situation, on what we can do to make this situation better. Whatever you're going through now, I feel as if from the 15th through the 30th, this is going to be the energy. I don't see it tra you know, transforming or changing, even though rightly so it could. If it does not change, I feel as if this is a conversation that's coming within the first to second week of July. You guys are both going to find ways to fix the situation, to balance out the situation, to try to find, you know, a way to do things. And as I mentioned before with that 555 that I saw, there is a dramatic, there is a drastic change coming here. So even though you guys are really ignoring each other, you guys are going through the most right now, that change is coming. That is the death card that I'm looking at when I saw that 555. That is the transformation between you both to fix things, to balance out things, to heal things, especially with the Six of Pentacle energy. So great granted that whatever you're going through right now capricorn is a very difficult time you need to know that better times are up ahead and these times are coming for you change is going to be taking place and i see this connection completely flipping into a completely different route i see it getting a lot better actually um considering what you're going through right now is not good anyways capricorn thank you guys so much for tuning in uh hopefully you guys enjoyed if it resonates let me know down in the comments below you guys had a really interesting energy so um i kind of don't really feel like myself right now as I'm reading this, because it was just a very interesting kind of energy I was picking up on. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, drop a like and a comment. If you're new, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys later for your July overall month love terror readings. All right, guys, take care. Peace.